Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, um, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your love reading for July 16th through the 31st for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. So let's go ahead and just hop right into it. first card we have is your card this is the hanged man okay so the hanged man talks about needing to take a pause okay really putting yourself um, in a reflective state to where you can gain more clarity on something, okay? You could be confused about a relationship, a person, about where you stand. So there is a pause. There is a need to reflect, okay? Or the hangman could be advice for you guys, Pisceans, okay? Meditate, take a break. Pause, reflect, intuition. We have the Two of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so you could be, like I said, confused, things like that. Um, someone could be really open with you, and you know how you how you deal with things could be different with, from how the other person deals with things so there is a need here to do what you need to do in order to gain clarity on a situation Or maybe a decision was already made with the Two of Swords. Because the Two of Swords upright could also mean not making a decision, also taking a pause as well. But in the reverse, this could be a decision already made, okay? You could have spoken about this decision or just left it alone. But let's see what else wants to come out. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So you could have just dropped this situation, this person, not have communicated with them. It's, um, you know, you don't really want your energy to be frazzled. You're trying to have calm, peaceful energy for you, okay? Especially with these first two cards that came out. You know, meditation and meditation here. And with the Knight of Swords in reverse, this is very erratic energy here. Very erratic, very... Um, this is someone who speaks without thinking, okay? And... Um, pays for their consequences here so you're trying to avoid that 
with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. You could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I saw Justice at the bottom of the deck, so could be dealing with the Libra. You know, if you're dating somebody, seeing somebody, you could not be talking to them right now. A decision most likely needs to be made. Someone here could have said something that was just, like, confusing to you. Or it was just too much for you, Pisces. Okay, we have the Hierophant in the reverse. So, you could be trying to gain clarity by yourself instead of having other people around to assist you. You could be trying to meditate and look for the answers yourself. Um, you know, wanting to have a break from your partner at this time or the hierophant in reverse also talks about breakups okay not coming together with somebody you could be dealing with the taurus so i'm getting that there's no communication right now this could be someone wanting a commitment with you Pisces and I don't think you feel the same way you're really thinking about it and I feel like you already came to a decision and I feel like that's not to move forward with this person This person could be jumping to conclusions, and you're more like, go with the flow. You know, Pisces, very much go with the flow. And I'm thinking of that song, um, Go With The Flow by um, Queens of the Stone Age. I can go with the flow. We have the Hermit in the reverse, so you could be dealing with um, a Virgo, or you could have Virgo in your chart. Again, more meditative cards here. So you're coming out of this time of solitude that you needed to. You isolated yourself, you gathered your information, you listened to your intuition, and I feel like you made a decision here with these two cards. You could have... Um, gotten answers from yourself or from another person but I think you you made this decision by yourself and the last card we have that flipped out is the ten of Pentacles in the reverse so you don't feel like this person's stable we have them underneath with the knight of swords here very fast moving very frazzled like like anxiety type of person and with the ten of pentacles in the reverse you don't feel like this is a relationship that is going to be really solid okay so let's go ahead yeah queen of pentacles in the reverse so you don't want to invest in this person so let's go ahead and pull an oracle card for advice.
the card we have is Tick Tock. Let's go ahead and read what it says, number 30. Ooh, and at the bottom of the deck we have Soulmates. Interesting. Timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. Love, the fulfillment of desire. And even the body's reproductive cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be co-said. I do not know how to pronounce that word, excuse me. Everything has its season. It's divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love, to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart in perfect rhythm. Isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. Okay, Pisces, so that's all I have for you here. I am charging $10 for a personal reading if you are interested in that. Um, all the information will be in the description box below. Thanks, Pisces. I'll see you later.